This is the future. Before we start this video, I would like to thank all the awesome guys who are currently supporting me over Patreon. I would also like to take this opportunity to apologize since some of you requested videos over a month ago, but I was able to create them only this month due to busy schedules in real life. As you all know, I did get a job again because of the pandemic. I'm very happy and blessed that you guys supported me over YouTube, and also some on my Patreon which helped me cover some of our daily expenses. Again, thank you so much as you make my family's life easier and I wish that you are enjoying the content I'm providing because I don't know how to thank you enough with your help. So again, this is one request video from one of my patron over a month ago and I only fulfilled it today. He requested a good Evara build for endurance run but instead of just a good build, I gave you something that can one shot nuke every high level enemies easily. Steel path is a breeze with this combo, and acolytes get one shotted easily. And yes, you can further push the capability of this combo if you want it to by going up against enemies whose level are higher than 1000. This combo has it all. It got that nuking power which deals a million damage in a single throw and also, it has reliable survivability since you can stay invisible with this build for as long as the mission requires. But I must admit, energy consumption is drastic when there is an energy leech unit around but, you can easily solve this problem because of this combo's insane kill speed which you can take advantage to kill that unit fast fast, and regenerate your lost energy with energy orbs. Ok, I know you want to know the full setup so let's get into the build section of this video. As you have seen earlier, I am using Ivara, Xoris, and Epitaph for this combo. For the Ivara build, I'm using a piercing navigator build so that my second ability will also give bonus critical chance to the thrown weapon. So basically, not only you get damage boost from this ability, but you now have a chance to red crit easily. Take note that I took into consideration the blood rush nerf in the upcoming Sisters of Parvo's update. You can still use this setup even after the blood rush nerf and still get insane critical hits from this combo. The only thing that will change is slower wind up speed for the glaive or a slower throw animation since digital extremes will be changing that in the future update. However, it doesn't matter since it will do the same destruction, and it pose no problem since you will be throwing the glaive while your Ivaro is invisible anyway. Now, this build is all about explosion in the end. More specifically, we will be using Xoris explosion to deal the most damage. But why piercing navigate is squad leader? Don't worry since after a couple of throws. You will have constant critical chance from this augment that you don't need to hit enemies anymore. After reaching the max critical chance, it will proc instantly in the next throw with max stack, allowing you to just detonate the glaive in the air after reaching your desired damage multiplier. While not compulsory, it's good to have arcane fury for more damage in your melee weapons explosion. And of course, Arcane Energize is a must for energy regeneration. Lastly, this build will require you to subsume Cora's Ensnare ability. This is why I added some duration for this build since I want Ensnare to last longer. Do remember that Navigator can reach its max damage multiplier with low duration in your build but, we need some duration for this combo since we want Cora's Ensnare to be effective. There are multiple of reasons why you need this for this new Kivara. One is obviously to nuke multiple enemies at once. The other reason is to somehow gain the max critical chance from piercing navigator fast. You don't need to make your glaive fly around to distant places since enemies are grouped and all you need to do is hit multiple enemies inside Cora's and Snare. And lastly, for faster combo stacking, if you want to see the highest damage of this nuke combo, then you would need to have at least high combo count every time, and Cora's and Snare can let you do this without needing to build Xorus for range and just focus on pure damage on its explosion. The build for Xorus is simply a combination of high critical chance, raw damage, the corrosive element which has shocking touch and primed fever strike, and also, killing blow for more damage. I added Amalgam Organ Shatter not only for its wind up speed bonus, while focus energy since it pairs well with Xenurex Cinemite to increase the heavy attack efficiency. This means that every time you explode Xorus, you will just reduce your combo count by one compared to reducing it to half or even losing all the combo count after one heavy attack performed. By the way, the reason I choose Xorus for this combo is you don't need to worry about its combo counter depleting while not hitting enemies. This way, I can use Xenuric to further boost the heavy attack efficiency, instead of going with Naroman's power spike. And lastly, you should know that a primer weapon will also increase the damage of this build. More specifically, if you stack viral against enemies with health, 
they will receive more damage from the explosion coming from your buffed Xoris. There are a couple of weapons you can use, but for this combo, I decided to use Epitaph. First of all, you can use Sido if you want it for this combo. It's just a personal preference and just showing you that after the Kuva nuclear utility nerf, there are other weapons you can use as primer to stack status such as Viral and Heat easily. For the Epitaph build it's all about high status chance and fire it with a status duration mod. This may not be included in the description of the weapon, but it has a massive 50% status chance on its uncharged direct hit and area of effect shot which we will be using every time for this combo. So that's all about it. I hope that you enjoy this Ivara combo and let me know in the comment section below if you have questions and suggestions on the video. The rest of the video are a few minutes of awesome nuking goodness while using this combo, plus the fashion frame I'm using. Thank you so much for watching. Happy weekends everyone. Squad leader signing off.